back a couple days later. Brennan ordered some parts. We got some stuff going on. Got some oil feed lines for the turbos. Oil drain tubes. This one fits. That one will have to do some finagling on. Brennan's putting shocks on right now. Uh, let's see. Most of the stuff comes from Amazon. 48 inch line over here, 60 over there. All to go to that ICT billet. Uh, let's see, we got some boots for the intercooler. We got a bunch of two inch ones that have to go back because they're not big enough. Uh, we got a super high dollar switch panel here. It's got That's real carbon fiber, by the way. two accessory number twos on it. We're thinking we might put that where the radio is. Might be a pretty good spot for that. We shouldn't have to cut anything to do that. So all you purists out there that are looking at that dash, it'll be fine. If we do have to cut it, we'll probably put it somewhere else anyway. But putting shocks back here. We got some brand new tires on the wheels. Painted them up a little bit. Got 275 60 15s, 235 or 270, yeah, 275 60s, 235 60s. Uh, so we should be pretty good there. If you guys want the tires in the budget, let us know. Everybody, you're gonna have to have tires, so you know, whatever. Um, it's been a good chunk of change on those, but not really relevant to the LS build, but there they are. Uh, what else we got? I don't know. We got throttle cable. Got that in. Um, still waiting on those flanges. Uh, we got some pretty awesome news about uh, the whole turbo situation. I'm not going to reveal that yet. I want to make sure it's finalized before we talk about it. But got some cool stuff coming there. Um, we're going to. We just got, got the brakes bled. So that's done. Uh, we still got to put the. Electronic fan on. Uh, Brendan got the wiring harness all laid up here. Uh, we got our injector um, adapter harnesses for those. We got everything pretty much ran on the engine, running inside. We'll have the ECU in there, uh, as, well, as well as the switch panel, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, we are getting there, so we're going to keep working on this. And uh, give you any updates. We might not have any more updates tonight because we still got some parts to order. We got some things to do. Um, I gotta go home a little early. Brendan might stay out here and wrench on it, and he might get some more stuff done. But still got some stuff to figure out. But we'll come right back to you. Well, a couple days later, we're making progress. Got the cold side done a couple 45s and 90s there that went super easy Brennan had that knocked out in no time got this one on here we'll have to put the blow off valve in there that'll be super easy we'll drill a hole with this weld that on that'll be good we just got the drive shaft put in we are still waiting on these flanges to make the exhaust and uh, right now I think we're gonna get ready to put the tank in so might have to move out the hitch get that ready but we got our feed and return line started to mock up here these will be pretty simple we'll get them figured out before long uh, we got these fittings for the other side of these to go into the pan on each side. So that's easy. Wires so, yeah. on, wires are in. I don't know yep. if you've even all seen this, that yet. All this is loomed up. Got the adapters in there for the injectors. The, the harness is ran in the firewall there. That was where the factory uh, AC vacuum lines went. Ran it down in there. So that'll be nice and easy. We'll get the ECM shoved in there somewhere. And uh, probably I pulled the heater box out of the car because that was all shattered. We don't need that. Yeah. 
somewhere in there. Yeah, that'd be good. We got the shifter just set on there. We did confirm that all gears are there. Whether they hold power or not. <laughs> good enough for now. Um, so that's a plus. So yeah, we're gonna get this probably just dropped off of there if the bolts are cooperative. Rear end's already been welded up. I didn't really get any videos on that, but it's got it's got rear end juice in it, so that's right. good. Got new shocks on there. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna throw this tank in. So we got the new pigtail on this pump here. We got our power wire marked and our ground wire marked. We're gonna pull those out, kind of have them ready. These two are just for the sending unit. Um, obviously we're not gonna really need that. We don't have the correct sending unit to work anyway. So got those marked. We're just gonna slap her up in there. against the trunk floor uh, so we're gonna run the wires along with the light wiring and stuff in the car like through the cabin and then we'll still put the fuel line just straight down to the factory steel line drill yep so that should fix that we can lower this down a little bit when we're done and either tack it or kind of leave it there or put a piece of strap or something in so it doesn't flop around but that should work pretty good all right so Brandon and his dad are up there working on the wiring while they're doing that got this fancy and line ran to this filter and then into the stock feed line which we're going to run all the way up the car to the engine and we'll pop a in off of it um, to the intake so yeah this is done back here tank is in uh, we will put the return on the factory send unit like we talked about and then we'll probably do something with these three vents up here but uh, yeah this is done looks pretty good happy with it we got the fuel tank in uh, JT got the pressure side pretty much done all the way until right here and we actually did get fancy with it I had a couple extra parts from all the swaps and stuff so we got some quick connects down there he might have videoed it but we got some quick connects on the fuel filter we have a in fuel lines right there so we got a in high side or high pressure lines the pressure feed lines we're gonna have high side pressure a in lines good to go we're gonna get it ran up to here we got to run another 8 a in from here down to there which we have sitting right here uh these guys right here so this is actually the return this is a 6an evil energy off of ebay they're like 10 bucks a piece instead of you know 15 20 dollars from other places like he said earlier cold side's done hot side's done ish uh we got to do this couple exhaust dad went ahead and got the fan mounted that is a 16 inch fan off of a john deere tractor that i came up with so that's done. Uh, this is pretty neat too. Well, I'm gonna walk around to the other side. We got a little door gap adjustment to make and when the car's jacked up, it doesn't sit right. But we got the wiring in the car like we showed earlier, but 
I got the fuse block all wired up, mounted, and the fuses are in there. That baby is tight and it is factory. We're gonna run this up there with the ECM. We're gonna make some sort of ECM bracket. The throttle is hooked up. We get wide open throttle, so we're good to go there. We got, uh, oh, I forgot to show this. Switch panel is somewhat mounted in there. So I just gotta, it's sitting in there. I just gotta put screws in it and we have to get the rest of the wiring in it, but I'm not gonna put the screws until we get the rest of the wiring. So tomorrow's project's gonna be get these drain lines made. I uh, took some measurements, got some line, some hose. I'm gonna try to get some fittings tomorrow. We're gonna try to make them and do that. Uh, we did start heat wrapping some of this. We wanted to see what it would look like. I think black's gonna look killer. You know, everything else is black underneath the car. Car's probably gonna be white. That's all done. Like I said, fancy throttle cable. This is off Amazon and I wanna say it was like 20 bucks. I mean, you can't find the factory like 9907 one nowadays without going to a dealership and it just takes forever. So, bam, there we go. Amazon, fix this right up. 36 inch, a little long, but that's the first time anybody's ever had that problem. But we got that up going. Like I said, we got some heat wrap. Dad got the battery tray mounted in here. It's gonna go right there. We're solid as can be. Uh, we had an old battery tray laying around. He made some bracketry off of the turbo mounts. Uh, we're good to go. It clears the tire by plenty. We're getting close. We got, we need fuel pressure and we need electricity. Once we get that, we're good to go. Uh, this thing's coming along smooth. I mean, I'm hoping to hear it start I hope the next video is a, uh, it's a live video. So hopefully we get this edited and put up just before it comes alive. Then hopefully after that, we go for a drive. Me and JT got the drive shaft in it. I got it cut down. It's kind of hard to see, but I had it cut down two inches, factory S10 drive shaft, 51 inches, F body yoke. Uh, I had to get a conversion U joint because apparently from a S10 10 bolt to this 10 bolt is a little different. I mean, this car is almost there. We got some minor interior stuff to do, some minor wiring. We got some hoses to make, not much. We got a little bit of welding to do. We got like one full day if we have all the parts and probably two or three more days and this thing should be running. My goal is to hear it run by Friday. So Friday, Friday, this thing's gonna run. Hopefully we can get you guys at least a Facebook update of something about it being alive and running and then you guys can wait for the video and we can go through that all so we'll see how it goes cars coming along we're getting there fellas stay tuned well we've got the oil feed and drain lines on the fuel the oil filter is on there the slave cylinder is mounted and on there and the line is hooked up so we got to bleed that still yet uh all the oiling stuff on the engine side's done i i made a couple lines at work i know it's hard to see but i made these lines and got them on there these we had to run we're gonna have to probably put a clamp right there but that's all done Put a little sticker on the windshield. Hopefully get a little bit of free advertisement. I think it looks pretty good. Not too bad for a little cricket maker sticker thing, but got that on there. Uh, I've been working on the wiring. I've got almost all of it figured out. I gotta run. This'll be, we got a fan control wire here. That's ground controlled, so that's the black wire. Red wire just goes to the battery that powers up all the ECM fuel pump, everything like that. That'll power up that stuff. Um, I got a push button hooked up. So this right here is all the power. I'm stealing power from the battery off these two wires hooked up to this main switch. It'll go through the push button. The push button works. I checked the resistance across it. Resistance, uh, well basically it goes from out of limits to having 0 0.002 resistance like it's supposed to. This is gonna be for the fans. I'm gonna hook that up to a ground 
and I'm gonna wire a relay in up there and I'll have a fan control on a switch because it's gonna be ground controlled. And then when I do that, I'm also gonna be able to control it by the ECM. I just gotta put the fan pin back in the ECM connector. We're gonna be good to go. So I'm hoping tomorrow, which today's Monday, I'm hoping tomorrow, Tuesday, we might be able to get this thing to crank over. Well, it's not much footage, a lot of talking, but it's kind of hard to videotape by yourself, do everything, and it's just a little bit of a challenge, but we're getting it, and it's a crunch time. We are seven days away from when I leave to go down there. So I leave the 5th, Memorial Day. JT lives, leaves the 6th for LS Fest. I have a tuning school class to go to, and then Thursday is LS Fest, so... pipes and dump tubes for the waste gates welded up here look pretty good got this side done all of the clamps and stuff are tight we're good there we're getting pretty close on this side about halfway done got the exhaust part done just got to do the waste gate on this side will be done Brandon's drilling the hole for the blow off valve We'll get that welded on. Got a belt on. Got radiator hose on. We got a throttle cable on. A lot of harness stuff done. We are getting there. Got that side started heat wrapped. Get all this stuff done and we'll do this side and that side. Got the fan in. Just moving right along. Well, this side's done. They're not perfect, obviously. But, like we were talking in the future, if we drag and drive this or something, this is going to get us through LS Fest, regardless. Um, if we drag and drive it, or if we want to change it, we can go down straight through here and come out this fender on each side. If you watch Cletus, uh, mullet is done up like that. It seems to work pretty good and on drag and drives. It would keep from the exhaust scooting in the windows but Brennan got that welded up got our blow-off valve tightened on there uh, we got lines ran for oil we gotta zip tie them starters in starter is in that right. is apparently specific I, right I said in the last video probably in one of these that apparently the starter is one off for a 2004 GTO and I just happen to have a 2004 GTO transmission so imagine that I had to go to this parts store got a 2004 GTO tr uh, starter and bolted right dried up the only difference I can find is the little stub that comes off the end of it it's a little smaller and the length for the bolts is just a little bit shorter so we got some washers down there to space it out but it's fine so I think we're doing pretty good uh, the next video you see we will be starting this and hopefully it runs and hopefully it does things and hopefully the transmission does things and the rear end does things and we're going to be doing things onto a trailer to get this to kentucky so we do hope to drive this maybe at least once before we put it on a trailer i'd say a handful of times and maybe even a test burnout but it's tuesday and we leave tuesday well i leave yeah. monday he leaves tuesday so yeah we'll see i don't know either way it's going to be there it's going to be running when it's there hopefully <laughs> Even if it goes just like this and we roll yeah. it off the trailer yeah. in a parking spot and let's leave it. It will be there. We got the name on the windshield thanks to Brennan's girlfriend. That's awesome. We got a little test paint stuff going on. We got how many cans for how much? Uh, $15 for, or 15 cans for $14. 
they were, were all on like clearance. 93 cents a can is what I did the math for. So I think, right, even if it looks crappy, it was four This dollars. looks better than this. Right. <laughs> and that's only one little and coat, so we're good there. You guys probably haven't seen this yet. Oh, yes. We got some uh, burnout tires. These were on the wheels that were on it, these wheels, but those tires are a little bit crappier and a little bit smaller, but those are 15 by sevens. They're gonna go on the back of here for a burnout. And if you didn't know, guys, tires are expensive. Very. Those are brand new, so we don't really wanna completely ruin them. So if we can drive around on these, burn these off, that'll be cool. And I kinda wanna pop a tire and make some excitement out of it. Or two I of think, them. I think one of them are pop, so. so. That's the goal. We got seats to put in it. We got a clutch to hook up and bleed. That's hooked up. We just got to oh, bleed it. Oh, didn't uh, know that. I have a fan wire to pin into the ECM, and I have the main power wire and battery cables, and that's basically all the wire. We're very close, guys. So hopefully another another night of a couple hours, and uh, we'll be good again. I gotta go, but Brennan is gonna be tinker on this for a little bit come back out after i get a bite to eat and mess with some wiring until it's time to go to bed so yeah so as you guys know huge thank you to brennan and his dad because they're pretty much like 90 percent of this build you know broke my ankle can't really help and uh got a kid got a wife gotta be home for them sometimes so yeah this is it's uh, kind of making dad exciting being this is like he told us when we pulled it out of the weeds this car he's had longer than he's had all his kids and his wife so <laughs> he, he pretty much thought this was destined to be a little bit of parts car and a uh, scrap car so we can get this back on the road with two big turbos and an LS and I'd be happy too I am happy right. this is gonna be pretty awesome so yeah. we're happy with how it's going like we said it's not perfect it's it's in our acceptable zone and i mean really for what we have in this which we are going to do it either a either a video or uh a breakdown or something we'll show you somehow of how much money we have in this but you guys can do this at home trust me it's I'd, doable i'd say right it's a little more than i thought we ever would have into it but i'd say we're no more than thirty five hundred dollars into this whole thing oh yeah yeah and, and i mean that's pushing it yeah and it's and that's it's, including every hose clamp every stupid little thing we need you know yeah. that's one of them things i mean you're gonna if you wanted to do this over four to six months it's the little things that add up i mean everything else you get your big ticket items out of the way it's not that bad so that's where we're at guys we're gonna end it off there this time and then like i said next video we're gonna be starting this thing and hopefully at least going through the gears making sure all of our contraption so far is working so that's what we got guys thank you for watching as always uh, we appreciate it very much and if you haven't already brennan started his own channel it is midwest obs garage he's got the single cab ls five speed the extra cab that has a six liter and a 6L80 slash 90 in right. it. Um, and he's got some other things. They put a turbo on that little jet over there. Girlfriend's uh, Cars video is coming out next. She's got an LS3 Camaro with a TR6060 in it. So they just did a bunch of work to that. So yeah, that's some stuff going on over there if you like that kind of thing. And uh, come back for the next one. It's gonna be pretty good.